Data, like oxygen, is everywhere. We need data to run critical systems that support us, educate us, drive our businesses and financial affairs, and record our activities and progress in our endless pursuit to improve the world around us. With so much data to manage and store, the issues around compression is a long-studied challenge, particularly when working across enormous analytical systems. A team of data scientists and researchers from various sectors working at IBM Almaden Research Center in California have been looking to find a solution. Their results have been very positive. Join us as we meet one of the authors, Matthias Boehm, professor at Graz University of Technology, Institute of Interactive Systems and Data Science, who explains a bit more about this work. The key idea of this work on compressed linear algebra is essentially to apply lightweight database compression techniques to numeric matrices and perform linear algebra operations such as matrix vector multiplication directly over the compressed representation. So for traditional machine learning algorithms um, that heavily rely on matrix vector multiplication, those workloads are often memory bandwidth bound and not compute bound. Uh, because they are memory bandwidth bound, compressing with a substantial compression ratio of those matrices uh, allows us to reduce the memory bandwidth requirements and potentially fit larger data sets in available memory. The research took a unique combination of existing techniques such as column co-coding, sampling, and column compression schemes, then adopted them for numeric matrix representations. In this approach, compression ratios and performance times are significantly improved over traditional standard approaches. Now this applies to uh, a single node setup where you just want to keep the entire data set in this one single node's memory. It can apply to hardware accelerator devices such as GPUs that have usually very limited device memory. And third, it applies to large scale distributed data parallel computation essentially a number of different different applications and number of different data sets, uh, which is essentially a strength of this approach that it's not just specific to one particular data set. This work is an excellent example of uh, essentially doing research in the intersection between industrial applications, building an actual machine learning system and uh, doing cutting, bleeding edge uh, research. And one of the lessons that turned that was incredibly beneficial for us was really the separation out of developing algorithms and doing optimizations including compressed layer algebra under the covers in a transparent manner for, for a user. Find out more in the Research Highlights article, Compressed Linear Algebra for Declarative Large-Scale Machine Learning, in the May 2019 communications of the ACM.